Hello everyone and today I'm going to show you how to make a Discord Roblox webhook that shows the activity and how long you were in a game for when you left. What it's going to look like is this. The player has played for uh, hours, minutes and seconds. Okay, so I'm going to show you exactly how we need to do this because this is really important for your game. So. In your disc, uh, in your in the description of this video, you can go down to the Discord, and you can download this. Um, it's in the free scripts section of the actual part of the game. Once you've done that, what we need to do is uh, we're gonna download it and then we're gonna drag and drop it into the game. Once you've done that, we're gonna uh, ungroup this and. Once it's opened, you can open it and you can see that we've got all this. Yep, we're using a new type of proxy because the proxy was taken down, which was very, very, very helpful. Uh, this is pretty much all of the scripts that you'll need for this. And I'm just going to go through and show you how to script it if you... Um, ...properly. So we're going to download a script. Once now that we've got a script in place, we're going to start scripting. Hello, HD. Service equals game get service HTTP service. Okay, now that we're going to do local players, players game get service and then players. And they've done that, it's local player data equals then the brackets and then players dot player added uh, connect. And then function and player. Now that we've done that, all we need to do is do player data. Then we want to do square brackets player dot user ID equals. Then you want your start time equals no start time. And then brackets here. Now that we've done this, this is all perfect, this is all done. Now we're going to get onto the actual main scripting part. This is the players dot player removing dot connect, uh, and then function, and then player. And now that we've got that, we can do local end time equal o o dot time. Okay. Sorry, one mistake. That means to be players. Uh, and then local start time equal player uh, data player dot user id dot start time local total time equals end time minus start time then local hours equals math dot floor bracket total time uh, slash three six hundred now that that's done, it's going to be local minutes equals math dot floor. Then a bracket and another bracket, and that is going to become total time with a um, percentage sign of 3600 and then slash 60. Now that that's done, it's going to be a local second equals total time, uh, percentage sign, and 60. Now that that's all done, it's going to be a local time string dot format string dot format is going to be a percentage sign zero to d percentage sign zero to d um, percentage sign. 02D and that's going to be translated into hours, minutes, seconds. Uh, that is all done. Uh, time, uh, time, string uh, equals string dot format. Then we can get onto the actual scripting process, uh, the actual webhook, sorry, this embeds.
title group well, uh, well, uh, rel, uh, uh, box leave a logger URL equals color equals uh, that's going to be 0x ff 1234 description is going to be a user played user has been online for that's time and then dot dot time Title equals player player dot player dot name uh, dot dot has left the game done boom uh, and then what we need to do is down to the last one of these to a local uh, also URL because the URL is quite a painful one to do. Time string equal time string play name equal play name. Oops. Local payload equals H service. Okay, so no, that needs to be encode data and HTTP service host async, and that's going to be HTTPS slash slash web. Dot Lewis dot dev slash API and slash whatever the rest of your code is. Uh, as we can see, everything should be lining up with exactly what we're looking for. Yep. The only thing that we need to get rid of is we need to get rid of this end here. And this end go here. As you can see, all working perfectly dandy. And that sends a webhook to here that they have left or joined. And it gives them the time, the seconds, the minutes. All of that will be in the Discord. It is in the free script section of the Discord right here. So once you join, press that. Um, and that is all you'll need. Thank you for watching and bye bye.